Okay, and welcome back. I am going to be starting a kind of a retro series here, like a lot of people are doing, because, you know, we're all in the house and stuck for something to do. And I'm glad I'm doing it because I'm getting a good look at mistakes I've made in the past and uh, kind of a good review on things that worked and things that didn't work. And uh, the reason why I'm going straight to this one, this of course is a 300ZX convertible. This was a, um, I think this was a Hasegawa kit, but certainly based on a Tamiya kit. And the reason I'm going to this one is because a video that Chris just posted on his Hornet, the uh, Hudson Hornet, where he was talking about having to cut the rear glass in exactly the shape of the opening. And that reminded me of this one. Um, it's possible that a lot of you have never seen this one. The idea, the beginning idea of this one was to do a thing called a cloud or a fade or something. I can't remember what it's called but it's really done in the uh, tuner community where you have a clear um, clear hood of some kind and you paint the outer parts of it and leave the middle of it clear kind of in a cloud. Now of course to Mia uh, oftentimes their hoods or bonnets are molded in clear so you can see the engines and this one was too um, and I had done that, I got it sort of to work where I painted it and then I had kind of used uh, something to polish out the middle so that you could see through it. It was looking great until I let it set for two or three days and then it clouded over and hazed and it, there was no way to uh, rescue it. It was a disaster. And so we decided to go with a window. So I cut this shape out of the hood and then I just use a piece of uh, clear binder to um, fill in the hole so now you have a window to the engine and uh, I'll show you how well that went and of course the issue is how on earth do you do that and I just did it by trial and error nice it's not going to I'm not going to be able to get this up I'm working on it what are the chances I'll edit this part out? There we go. So just recently, now it was just pressure fitted in there all these years, and just the other day I actually went in there, and you can see a disaster that happened here. At one point while polishing, years ago, broke the hood in half, so that is glued together. Right there and there. And then right just recently, I used some Canopy 560 glue to glue this thing. And so it's glued in there proper now. But looking at it at the right angle, you can tell this used to be a, a clear hood. And it is painted on the other side. And so there's the way that looks. And of course the paint was a disaster and I had run out of paint and uh, decided to just paint that flat black and it looks good um, let me leave it off for now and I'll just show you around the car a little bit the engine came out fantastic that is duplicolor chrome and um, very very happy with the kit I like the 300ZX after uh, building this one I did get the um, hardtop and that, I haven't built that one yet. But this one came out fantastically well. The paint... Oh boy, I brought the can out. And then I left it. One second. Alright. The paint is this paint. This is the... Um, cobalt Blue Metallic and this is a new can. I got a new can because of something else I want to paint with it. But that is the color that this is painted. And uh, with so many metal flakes in there, it has to be polished. It doesn't come out looking like it, it does here. 
just by itself. Uh, sprayed it on and then polished it quite a bit. But so did I even put a how about that? No license plate. Um, I don't think there's any particular dash detail. But it looks nice. Just now realizing the shifter is missing. Isn't that great? And now I will flip it over, I believe. I do highly recommend this kit, if you can find one. I think it's out of production. Well, let me flip it over, show you the underside. There we go. Again, with the um, exhaust, that is duplicolor chrome. And this is what 300 ZXs look like when they're up on their side. But anyway, that's a good look around the car, but that is not the best part of this car. Let me put it back down. And get yourselves ready for this. Up we go. We're going to try not to drop it. Ready? Any second now. There we are. Yay, I didn't drop it. Okay, so that is the cobalt blue in the sun. That's what it would sound like if it were an airplane. I suppose I do need to put a license plate on it. What would be a good license plate? I'm trying to get the, uh, the deck lid there. There we go. Look at that. Now this car did have a one of those crazy issues. You can see it on the door there. I think you can see it on the door. Where even after you prime it, the paint did a funny thing. 
it's more apparent. And it did it on both doors. It's obviously where, where is it? There it is. So it did it on both doors. And I'm just calling it its drive-by shooting scar. Because it looks like somebody hit it with some buckshot shot. Let me see the other side. There we are. See that? Now this thing does have primer on it. This is like the second or third paint job. And um, even through the primer, this kept happening over and over again. I finally just said, oh, just forget it, leave it. Someday we will discover the answer to that mystery. We've all ran into that. Where there's something in the plastic that affects the final top coat, even through primer. But anyway, that is my convertible 300ZX. And I just cleaned it up a little bit and, you know, glued the window onto the hood and so on. Let's see what that looks like in the sun. Oh, yeah, that's shiny. It's a little too shiny. Anyway, there it is. I'll be doing some more um, from the back of the stash. If there's something that you all know that I have that I, you haven't seen in 10 years, uh, let me know which ones you might want to see. Um, not the stash, but the built, the cabinet. Yeah, the one that comes to mind is the uh, Corvette America. Might be awesome. I don't think I've ever seen that one out in the sun. Maybe it'll be, that was a burgundy um, metallic color. Anyway, appreciate you watching if you're still here. <laughs> and y'all have a good one. Yeah, how fast will it spin? Pretty fast.